Hey guys, so I wanted to make a little rant video today about wizards and the magic system that surrounds them in D&D, or they're, they're part of, if you want to put it that way. So let me, let me preface this by saying, you don't have to agree with me, anything that I'm saying here is not objective, so a subjective opinion of mine, and if I'm presenting it as, you know, as, as me saying this is how it is, I'm sorry, you know, English is not my first language, so I don't know the, the specific conventions of how to convey a point without it sounding like an objective fact. So, moving on, the wizard conundrum is what I'm calling this thing, is, is basically my issue with the wizards in D&D and how they interact with the magic systems. Clerics, sorcerers, warlocks, paladins, you know, it makes sense that they would have said spells, right? Paladins, clerics, and warlocks, they borrow power from a greater being, and those greater beings probably have like magics and spells that they approve of or they prefer and they give those specific sets to them. They don't actually wield the power on a more intimate level. It's more of a... The intimate part of, of the powers of these classes is the interaction they have with the beings that give them to them. And then you have sorcerers, which have... Uh, the magic system with sorcerers is, is all about meta magic and how they... Uh, this natural talent coming from inheritance, blood, you know, and ancestry. And they can... They can they cannot like control the spells they do themselves like they cannot change the effect of a spell but they can change how that spell is casted you know they have more of the control of of how it comes out it's like if they have a hose the sorcerer is the person that like puts like pinches the, the mouth of the hose so instead of one stream it's two streams you know the hose is integrated already in, in the function of the the water coming out but the sorcerer what they do is they control how it comes out the wizard would be the person that instead of buying a hose they make a hose to to water their plants that springs like five different you know streams and they come out in very soft spray you know like wizards are supposed to be able to to study the magical net that forms the that runs through the world in the end and they bend it to their will, basically. They craft spells. If you look at the wizard spell list, a lot of the spells they created, you know, spells that a wizard a long time ago created and has been passed down and people have been learning because it's so cool. And that's like the fun part of the wizard. You don't have like an inherent talent on magic. You're just very smart guy that likes magic and he's a dork and it's, it's very nerdy. So my problem, the wizard conundrum is the system with wizards, uh, I'm very conflicted on this, but I think it should change, but at the same same time, is it even fair if only changes for wizards? The idea would be that wizards could actually like craft their own spells, could have uh, effects and elements and change their radius and their range, and those could maybe come to a cost of wizard points or maybe a cost of HP, maybe wielding magic for someone that is not magically gifted like a sorcerer actually takes away from your health pool, like drains your energy or some shit. And that can be paired up with the whole uh, spell out system if you want to, or maybe you know, it could be worked on. But as, as wizards are right now, and this is my problem with it, as they are right now, it's not a very... It doesn't allow for much creativity. Wizards have this thing where you can... Difference from a cleric, you know, they have set gods they worship, so they will have set a repertoire of powers. But a wizard doesn't do that. A wizard should be able to study whatever they want and create spells that fit, you know, their, their whole idea. Like, if I want to make a wizard that hates cats, I should be able to make a spell that is an AoE spell of, like, 200 feet that only affects cats. And it does, like, psychic damage to cats and kills them all. Like, 2d6, 1d6, and kills, and the dude just goes around killing cats. And he slightly shifts his spells when is fighting enemies to attack them instead. I want to do that, but I can't. In D&D, you can't do that. In D&D, you have to unlock the cool spells, you have to be higher level, and I understand, right? The, the level for a wizard is, like, their experience with wizardy and bending spells, but, like, come on, man, I wanna, like, the wizard has low HP, and you could capitalize on that with the whole drains your HP to cast a spell system, because that way, a wizard, the more powerful they become, the, the more complex spells they can cast, because they get used to their health being drained, or some excuse, whatever. But as wizards are right now, if you wanna play a, a necromancer, your options are very limited. The Necromancer subclass really eggs you on, on a certain path, you know, which is numbers and it's like quantity with the combat system in D&D is very hard to control quantity and you can do it. It's doable and people enjoy playing Necromancer and I'm not saying you shouldn't enjoy it. I'm just saying it could be more enjoyable if you could make a spell that, again, revives only cats in an area and 
you have a certain telepathic control of them or some shit. I don't know. I just think the magic system in D&D could be worked on in, in more interesting and, and more flexible ways. But then, playing devil's advocate, because obviously I don't hold the, the opinion of wizard is okay as it is, I do think that people that like playing wizard as it is would say something like, well, the limitations is what makes it fun because then you can work around them and that bolsters your creativity and that makes you create characters, entertaining characters from limitation. Like, limitation has been a very big inspirator in human history when it comes to art and I don't think and I think that D&D is the same right and I would agree I think uh, that's why I'm very conflicted on this you know like I don't know if it should be changed because also the problem of balance comes to mind too like how is it balanced that a wizard can do that and a sorcerer has a set list of spells and my answer would be like well the sorcerer wouldn't have their HP drain when they cast a spell they have spell slots and the wizards they don't have spell slots because they're not inherently magical beings but they lose HP when they do that and that's the balance you know you have to balance what spells you cast and how much HP you have but then comes the the whole it's, it's very exploitable because you could have like a like a ca like a healer that only heals the wizard and and but then it will be limited by spell so you know it's a whole ordeal but I, I do think that it would be interesting to see some form of change when it comes to the wizard and the way they interact with spells because so far the only difference they have is they can do a short rest and heal up or heal up recover a few spell slots right and they can do rituals and all wow, that's so cool, but it's like, well, whatever. Oh, I forgot to mention druids. Druids make sense that they have like set spells because they are like from a sect, you know, like they have the circle of the druids and that means that they were raised into a doctrine or tradition, you know, or a culture and that means they would, they, it makes sense that they would have like set spells. But a wizard, it doesn't make sense to me that they have set spells and you can create your own. And I mean, yeah, you can create your own, okay? I do know that. I do know that you can technically create your own spells if the DM allows it, but man, there is no support for that. There there is no support system built into D&D 5e that lets you create spells. And I understand 5e is level entry, and I'm saying that as someone that entered through 5e into the D&D world. But no, no, I just wish it was a little bit more complex. Complex, not complex necessarily, more advanced, more free. You, you had more chances to invent your own shit as a wizard, but still fun, you know. And it could it could be a new class if you want it. If you don't want a, the wizard, your wizard to be changed, could be a new class. Sure, the spell crafter, the the spell creator or some shit, I don't know, <laughs> the magi or some magi or some shit. But yeah, that, that's basically what I wanted to do. I wanted to bend a little bit because I was thinking about this all day and I couldn't stop thinking about this and I needed to put it into an audio format and put it out there to see what people thought. So let me know if, if you think that this kind of system would be good for D&D, if you think you don't want to change it. Again, I'm not saying, oh, this is good and if you don't agree, you're a piece of shit. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying this is what I think would be good and I'm open, you know, for corrections. I'm open for discussion. If I missed something, in the PHB, it's like 300 pages plus. I'm sorry if I missed something from the PHB that says you can actually craft your spells. Uh, just let me know, right? right let's let's start a discussion on the comments. That, a civil discussion. Don't be a dick, you know. <laughs> and let, let's let's talk it out. I want to hear your opinions, guys. I want to hear what you think about this. Would a future version of a wizard for D and D 6e or whatever 5.5? Would you want the wizard to have more control over the effects of their spells instead of using only set spells? You know, and set spells could have like a set HP drainage that you can uh, like apply only to wizards. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, that That's all really. I just wanted to, to bend a little bit. Uh, um, the next video, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but the next video is coming up the 30th. It's going to be very long. It takes a long time to edit. I'm not used to editing hour plus like podcast length videos into shorter versions. I'm not used to that, but I'm working on something special, something fun. You're going to love it. There is another d, &D YouTuber involved in this. Uh, he is a great artist and oh god their art is amazing so, so you're gonna be very excited to see who this mysterious person is so yeah look forward to meeting him and i will see you in the 30th bye bye it's obvious what i want you have plenty for my needs come on and face me baby teach me how to feel and if i my request I promise I'll be nice Let's do it in front of a bunch of nerdy guys I want on a 20, come and give me 20 I yeah, two and a zero, come and be my hero I don't wanna deal with 19 sides of your little plastic lies I want on a 20, come and give me 20 I yeah, two and a zero, come and be my hero I don't wanna deal with 19 sides of your little plastic lies
Acordate cuando me veas así Que estaría mejor con un 20 a mi favor Si no fuera por la turbia verdad Tal vez yo tendría mejores chances de ganar I want a 20, come and give me 20 A 2 and a 0, come and be my hero I don't wanna be with 90 inside of your little plastic lights I want a 20, come and give me 20 A 2 and a 0, come and be my hero I don't wanna be with 90 inside of your little plastic lights